Ah, ¿cómo están chicos? Ah, lo voy a decir. El día de hoy aquí en Chilean chicos vamos a hacer un episodio de Vampire y vamos a ver qué pasa en este juego de mierda. Muy bueno. Muy bueno, muy profundo. Y probablemente me estoy echando más horas en el juego que en otros juegos porque estoy jugando en cine secundaria. Solo porque me atrae, Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. My poor Mary. Parece que murió acá su esposa, bueno. Algo tiene que ver ahí. Descansa para consumir y usar. Porque me dice que descanse, pero... Es muy poca experiencia la que voy a... This is my watch. Damn grave robbers. A ver, algo pasó, así que vamos a revisar qué pasó. Decide que información haga Edwin Cox Informa de la muerte de los... Oculta la verdad, oculta la verdad. Ya... Y eso es allá Ahora aquí no hay puntos rápidos, así que no hay puntos de... Que se borró mi... Se borró mi marca, bueno y este tipejo estaba... Este tipo estaba como por acá, bueno, si no me equivoco. Acá creo que está... Ahí. Está esta puerta aquí. Sí, era ahí. Pero bueno, voy a correr y irme de acá porque ya estoy ya está listo. Ahora, vean que puedo ir para allá a hablar con él, ¿me entienden? Y allá me salió un sin exclamación, que no sé qué será. Ahora, quiero revisar bien, porque si es que hay algo más aquí, preferiría sacarlo. Miéntate, miente a Tom y quédate con la ginebra y acá que dice Informa la muerte de los palmados o oh, oculta la verdad Tienes para elegir o oh, mentir o ocultar Ahora... Ya me ha marcado como dos misiones allá, o sea, prácticamente al lado. Eso ya no está. Y de aquí... De aquí, eso es allá, al otro lado. Solo estoy chequeando porque no quiero volver aquí, bueno, porque es demasiado lejos. Ahí está. Pero todo esto yo nunca lo vi y estuve muy cerca de hacer todas esas misiones, o sea, estuve en realidad al, al lado. Esto lo hice, lo hice porque salió nomás, pero... Es 
там він гаєві. Ese es allá, donde yo la marqué. No, pero ese es... No sé, la verdad. Viuda pura, aquí no hay nada, no hay ningún tipo de información. Ya, o sea, me falta esto. Ya no hay nada que hacer acá, así que me voy a ir nomás. No quiero perder más tiempo por acá. Estos lugaritos. Aunque sea... Terminé dos, dos misiones de esas inmediatamente, más la otra, son tres. No es tanto. O sea, me refiero a que... Avanzar tres misiones secundarias igual es rápido. Ahora, si hubiera sabido que... Claramente... Eh, esto era así, ya lo hubiera hecho encerrado. saber para dónde voy a ir, weón, porque... Voy a echar botas en los dos. que evolucione, que descanse y evolucione, pero... Por lo menos para mí, no es el momento. Aquí esto debe ser un, un, un lugar de descanso. No estaba equivocado. Ahora, igual no puedes volar entre un lugar de descanso a otro. O sea, sería genial que pudieras hacer un transporte rápido, ¿me entiendes? No tener que volver a caminar Caminar todo esto es tedioso, o sea, no es una distancia pequeña No es nada, es bien largo Ahora, claro, te perderías algunas cosas, algunos objetos o ítems o It's locked. Lo que sea, pero... It's locked, all right. No 
sé. Yo lo haría. Yo, si yo hubiera hecho la posibilidad de poder volver, por ejemplo, de una casa a otra casa. O sea. Ahora, la ciudad no es, ojo, la ciudad no es enorme. No tenganlo claro. O sea. Para los que piensan que el juego es muy grande, no, no lo es. Yo ya prácticamente me falta revisar eso, eso ya lo revisé, y lo revisé, lo revisé. Todo esto lo revisé, todo esto de acá pareciera que ya lo revisé, o sea... No es grande. piensan que es, que es grande el mapa, no lo es. Ahora... ¿Es tedioso caminar? Sí. Más allá de que tengas... El botón para esquivar. Sigue siendo una lata ¿no? caminar. O sea, yo vine, vine simplemente por tema de solucionar ese problema. Me parece genial que puedas interactuar con los ratones y los puedas comer. Pero... This is despicable. Pero. Mierda que había esto. Entonces ahora estoy en la parte buena de la ciudad, ¿ok? Eso es al otro lado que todavía no puedo llegar. Pero si sí puedo hablar con él. ver su weá, si al final me estaba viendo de ayuda o algo. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? A ver, acá. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened? Staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Ya tengo casi todo lo de él. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I had nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed huh. of your sins? Okay, All I know okay. is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. 
I was an obedient gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there, pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathized with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. A selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor. But it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Detalles sobre el imbécil. Y me falta solamente una cosa. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor. Most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Pues con eso, eh... Así que está listo. Eh... ¿Me te oculta la verdad o dile la verdad nomás? Ahora... Te voy a decir la verdad, weón. Es una mierda. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in monsters, Edwina. It makes him look weak in front of the boys. That's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't believe he really saw something then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead. Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Se me pagaron por terminar esa mierda. Ahora eso no, todavía no lo puedo hacer. Ahora eso tampoco sé dónde. No sé si lo puedo hacer acá o no. Parece que sí.
Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're that doctor. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened, just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. I never thought someone would... Well, thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No, I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Stupid bastard, why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No. I don't... I don't want to remember it. Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson Ammunitions Factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. The victims. They were not the target then. I spent so much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. I sense your guilt, Dyson. Why is that? Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just... by killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No way. That bomb also killed you that day, don't you see? You just die a slower death, drink by drink. I know. Maybe I deserve judgment. Until that day, I'll just be Dyson the drunk, not Dyson the murderer. Dajmy i odrabiste. Más o menos ya. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Con eso aquí hace limpio. Ahora, esto no es acá, esto es. Esto... Ah, sí es acá. Ahora, lo raro es que no me lo marca, ¿verdad? Supuestamente... Encuentra el collar perdido de Simulfi. Good evening, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Any chance you can help me find you? The sad saint. Why would you talk to that cunt? Actually, that's confidential. Really? Well, go ask someone else then. I'm sure Tom Watts will gladly answer you. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburn. Ahora, el tema es que. Te marcan un lugar, o sea, te dicen. la vida eh... te marcan un lugar y el lugar supuestamente es donde yo estoy acá Ahora... No me la va a pasar todo el rato haciendo esto, ojo, por si acaso. No, no. Si no encuentro el collar, bueno, no lo encuentro ya. Pero... 
Por lo menos en esta misión secundaria no te dicen nada. No te dicen absolutamente nada. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Miss. So long, Rufus. It's locked. Necesito poder entrar allá ¿o? This is a slaughterhouse. From Seymour to my beloved mother, Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. Ahí encontré el collar, puta que suerte tengo. It's locked, all right. <risa> puta, tengo una suerte, weón. Increíble. Yo creo que se lo voy a dar a la mamá, weón. Se lo va a dar a la mamá, es como lo que más me, me tinca a mi boludo. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course, Dr. Reed. Mm. Just grow eyes in the back of that head, sir. Gentlemen are easy targets in these parts. What can I do for you, Dr. Reed? Yeah, I believe you may find this necklace of interest. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gift your son was hoping to give you. But I'm afraid it links him to the nearby murders. You mean this belongs to one of his victims? Jesus. I knew this day would come. Please, Dr. Reed. Accept this for your trouble and leave me be. This day? You mean you already knew? Are you buying? My silence. I will not be an accomplice in this. What? No! No! My son's crimes distress me more than you can imagine. But I'm his mother. I love him, I do. 
Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? One night, he told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his, uh, demons. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. O sea, este igual te ayuda, te ayuda a entender más a estos tipos, ¿no? Hate, his rage, how he feels when he's done it. Es lo que siento, es como que. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. Okay, you have I'm convinced you raised Seymour the best you could. You're not responsible for what he became. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. All men and women are born innocent, Mrs. Fishburne. There can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? Do you think something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? Es difícil que alguien pierda eso. Science has only just begun to investigate the mysteries of the human mind. Currently, we have more assumptions than fact. There ain't no hope, then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster, and nothing will bring him back. Ya me dio toda la información que yo quise. Ahora prácticamente. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. No puedo mucho más a esa señora. Me falta todavía una pista que está bloqueada, pero. Take care of yourself. Así que chicos, eso va a ser por el día de hoy. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten, más que compartan el canal y los veo pronto.